Hello and welcome back to the Whiskey Closet. Tonight I'm going to do a first impressions review of the new Booker's 2022-04 Pinkies Batch, which just hit the market. And I was very lucky enough to pick one up, so let's try it out. Booker's 2022-04, it's the last release of 2022. 2022 apparently has been a very good year for Booker's. I've read a lot of reviews, watched a lot of good YouTube reviews about the Booker's releases this year and people have been claiming that it's a major return to force for Booker's. Uh, I haven't been able to pick up any of the 2022 releases though, so I was really happy when I got the opportunity to get the 04. Let's try it out. That is just nutty vanilla. It's a nice nose. It's kind of surprisingly soft. Definitely very peanut nutty. A lot of vanilla, maybe a little bit of a kind of a caramel sweetness. It smells really nice. I definitely like that nose. I'm kind of surprised how nutty it is. I wonder if I'm just really picking up on that note. Mmm. Oh. Huh. Booker's really is my jam. It always has been. And this one is no exception. That's nice. A lot of peanut on the palate, too. Oh, I like that. Okay, it is a nutty experience the whole way through. The sweetness up front is like kind of a peanut brittle. Really make, reminding me of Christmas peanut brittle. Nice, nice sweetness carries all the way through. That 122 proof comes through really really sparkly but the thing that's really fun about this is how that sparkly proof then melds seamlessly into the barrel spice so you get that sparkly proof alcohol 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 and then you start to notice oh it's kind of still a little sparkly but it's changing and it's that barrel impact that kind of spiciness from the barrel and oh they sort of trade places and you get this finish that's that nice kind of barrel never bitter never dry but that kind of spice, barrel spice finish, oof, that's pretty good. Crazy nutty. Crazy, crazy nutty. If you don't like a nutty bourbon, this probably not going to do it. If you do like nutty notes in your bourbons, then I bet you might enjoy this. I'm actually finding it rather simple. It actually reminds me of a Knob Creek 12 year. It's kind of relatively soft, nice vanillas, definitely get the proof, definitely get the barrel, definitely get that nuttiness, but it's not like overly spicy or overly intense, um, which is interesting because I have always associated Booker's with being these intense experiences, but maybe that's because the ones that I've tried in the past were last year's. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna compare the 2022-04, the new release, to last year's 04 release. See how they are the same, see how they differ. So here's 2021-04, this was the No Strangers batch. Oh, completely different noses. More of an ethanol nail polishy thing happening in the 2021, but surrounded by some nice spice notes, some caramel, little vanilla. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> So my memory served. This is much, much more intense. A lot proofier, a lot spicier. It wows you, it hits your tongue and it's just, whoa, it really comes for you. And I like that. I don't like that at all. It's got a little hint of that nuttiness, but it's much, much tamped down compared to this year's. Oh, there's a beautiful honey sweetness in it. I like it. It goes a little harsh. It's definitely got harsher notes in the finish, a little drier but the spice kind of makes up for it. All right, let's trade back to this year's release, see if anything changes. Oh, that nose is so much nicer, so much softer and balanced with that peanutty character. Much richer, less of that alcohol ping and more of a rich dark nose. That's nice. I would definitely say that this year's release is much more balanced it's a smoother ride through the flavors. It still definitely develops sweetness and then this rush of spiciness, barrel tingle all the way out through the end. It's really nice, but at the same time, it's just softer. This one is much more of a relaxed sipper. I could see where you could just sit here and enjoy this 
Whereas the O last year's, the 2021 04, kind of demands your attention. And I think maybe because it's a little rougher, a little harsher around the edges, but it, that it, because of that, it presents as more intense. Interesting difference. You can tell right away on the nose too. It just doesn't have that refined, soft, sweet smell. More honey in last year's release. Much more peanut brittle in this year's 04. That's really, <laughs> that's nice. Oh, this year's 04 has a really, really nice nose. A little bit of a floral character happening in that too. I notice when the um, glass starts to get a little low, somehow the floral notes seem like they pop out a lot more and that's happening now. Wow. That's really interesting. In terms of picking a preference, that's tough. There's a lot that I enjoy in both of these glasses. Again, last year's being more intense, this year's being more mellow and round and darker notes, much, much more peanutty, which maybe could be kind of a contentious note for some people. I know some people really don't like that. I do, and so I like this a lot. I feel like I would say this year's is just kind of a better bourbon. You know, you like to find those how those notes meld together and present a really nice round cohesive experience without a lot of sparky spike spiky a lot of spiky edges and definitely this year's release is doing more of that than last year's release did both great it's good i'm not crazy for it i wouldn't say it's my favorite thing in the closet but uh it's nice and yeah oh really nice to just sit and sip on and just enjoy well there you have it first impressions of Booker's 2022-04 Pinky's Batch compared to last year's 04 Batch. Hope this was helpful. Thanks again for watching The Whiskey Closet and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.